Erysipelas, Wikipedia Audio Erysipelas is an acute infection typically with a skin rash, usually on any of the legs and toes, face, arms, and fingers. It is an infection of the upper dermis and superficial lymphatics, usually caused by beta-hemolytic group A streptococcus bacteria on scratches or otherwise infected areas. Erysipelas is more superficial than cellulitis, and is typically more raised and demarcated. The term is from Greek rho upsilon sigma pi epsilon lambda alpha, meaning red skin. Affected individuals typically develop symptoms including high fevers, shaking, chills, fatigue, headaches, vomiting, and general illness within 48 hours of the initial infection. The erythematous skin lesion enlarges rapidly and has a sharply demarcated, raised edge. It appears as a red, swollen, warm, and painful rash, similar in consistency to an orange peel. More severe infections can result in vesicles, blisters, and petechiae, with possible skin necrosis. Lymph nodes may be swollen, and lymphedemia may occur. Occasionally, a red streak extending to the lymph node can be seen. Signs and Symptoms The infection may occur on any part of the skin, including the face, arms, fingers, legs and toes, it tends to favor the extremities. Fat tissue and facial areas typically around the eyes, ears, and cheeks, are most susceptible to infection. Repeated infection of the extremities can lead to chronic swelling. Most cases of erysipelas are due to streptococcus pyogenes, although non-group A streptococci can also be the causative agent. Beta-hemolytic, non-group A streptococci include streptococcus agalactii also known as Group B strep or GBS. Historically, the face was most affected, today, the legs are affected most often. The rash is due to an exotoxin, not the streptococcus bacteria, and is found in areas where no symptoms are present, e.g., the infection may be in the nasopharynx but the rash is found usually on the upper dermis and superficial lymphatics. Spread of infection to other areas of body can occur through the bloodstream, including septic arthritis. Glomerulonephritis can follow an episode of streptococcal erysipelas or other skin infection, but not rheumatic fever, recurrence of infection, Erysipelas can recur in 18-30% of cases even after antibiotic treatment. A chronic state of recurrent erysipelas infections can occur with several predisposing factors including alcoholism, diabetes, and tinea pedis. Another predisposing factor is chronic cutaneous edema, such as can in turn be caused by venous insufficiency or heart failure, lymphatic damage, Necrotizing fasciitis, commonly known as flesh-eating bacterial infection, is a potentially deadly exacerbation of the infection if it spreads to deeper tissue. Erysipelas infections can enter the skin through minor trauma, insect bites, dog bites, eczema, athlete's foot, surgical incisions and ulcers and often originate from streptococci bacteria in the subject's own nasal passages. Infection sets in after a small scratch or abrasion spreads, resulting in tachymia. Erysipelas does not affect subcutaneous tissue. It does not release pus, only serum, or serous fluid. Subcutaneous edema may lead the physician to misdiagnose it as cellulitis, but the style of the rash is much more well circumscribed and sharply marked in at than the rash of cellulitis. This disease is most common among the elderly, infants, and children. 
people with immune deficiency, diabetes, alcoholism, skin ulceration, fungal infections, and impaired lymphatic drainage are also at increased risk. This disease is diagnosed mainly by the appearance of well-demarcated rash and inflammation. Blood cultures are unreliable for diagnosis of the disease, but may be used to test for sepsis. Erysipelas must be differentiated from herpes zoster, angioedema, contact dermatitis, and diffuse inflammatory carcinoma of the breast. Erysipelas can be distinguished from cellulitis by its raised advancing edges and sharp borders. Elevation of the antistreptolysin O titer occurs after around 10 days of illness. Archibald Douglas, 6th Earl of Angus, Scottish nobleman active in the reigns of James V and Mary, Queen of Scots, John of the Cross, Spanish saint and priest, Michael de Ruder, Dutch Admiral in the Anglo-Dutch Wars, contracted from injuries sustained from a cannonball, Christina, Queen of Sweden, Anne, Queen of Great Britain and Ireland, Norborn Berkeley, Baron de Bodetort, Royal Governor of Virginia, Princess Amelia of the United Kingdom, daughter of George III of the United Kingdom, Grand Duchess Catherine Pavlovna of Russia, daughter of Tsar Paul I of Russia and wife of King William I of Wurtemberg, William Wirt, United States Attorney General and U.S. Presidential Candidate, Charles Lamb, English writer and essayist, Barbara Hoffland, English children's writer and novelist, Pope Gregory XVI, Mary Lyon, American women's education pioneer, Marie, Dowager Duchess of Saxe Coburg Gotha, John Herbert White, Youngest son of James S. and Ellen G. White, co-founders of the Seventh Day Adventist Church, Ralph Bullock, English jockey, Frederick VII of Denmark, King of Denmark, John Tymon, First Roman Catholic Bishop of Buffalo, New York, John Stuart Mill, English political philosopher. Marcus Clark, Australian journalist, poet, playwright, and novelist, who wrote for the term of his natural life, died age 35, John Brown, Scottish personal servant and companion to Queen Victoria, Pat Killen, American heavyweight boxer, died at age 29 while in hiding in Chicago from police after assaulting two men, Samuel Augustus Ward. American organist, composer, teacher, businessman, James Anthony Bailey, American circus ringmaster, George Herbert, 5th Earl of Carnarvon, English aristocrat known as the financial backer of the search for an excavation of Tutankhamun's tomb in the Valley of the Kings. His death led to the story of the curse of Tutankhamun, Miller Huggins, American baseball player and manager, Father Solanus Casey, American Capuchin priest declared blessed by the Roman Catholic Church. Depending on the severity, treatment involves either oral or intravenous antibiotics, using penicillins, clindamycin, or erythromycin. While illness symptoms resolve in a day or two, the skin may take weeks to return to normal. Because of the risk of reinfection, prophylactic antibiotics are sometimes used after resolution of the initial condition. However, this approach does not always stop reinfection. Richard Wagner, opera composer, was prone to outbreaks of erysipelas throughout his adult life. He suffered notably from attacks throughout the year 1855 when he was 42. Cause The disease prognosis includes Fatal, in order of death Chronic, recurrent Recovered Fictional
Erysipelas is also the name given to an infection in animals caused by the bacterium Erysipelothrix rugiopathii. E. rugiopathii can also infect humans, but in that case the infection is known as erysipeloid. Risk Factors Diagnosis Lennon suffered an infection in London, and party leadership was exercised by Martoff until he recovered. Treatment Prognosis Notable Cases Other Animals In D. H. Lawrence's novel Sons and Lovers one of the major characters in the novel, William Morell, dies quickly from the complications of erysipelas in conjunction with pneumonia, in Anton Chekhov's 1892 short story Ward No. 6, Erysipelas is among the afflictions suffered by the patients committed to a poorly run mental illness facility in a small town in Tsarist Russia, in G. J. Farrell's novel The Siege of Krishnapa the Collector, Mr. Hopkins, is afflicted during the siege and recovers, in Mark Twain's Roughing It, mention is made of the disease due to the rarefied atmosphere.